Flux Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I am Dan. I am Mike Dan. We got the butch in the house. But which one is it? Got to be serious here, Mike. Okay. Uh, Mike, this is Cold Horns. Oh, okay. It is a Kazbeck, excuse me, what? Kazbeck, Simcoe, and Centennial Hopped Cold Double India Pale Ale coming in at a 7.5% ABV. And we are packed on, packaged, not packaged, um, 313, 2024. So we're a couple weeks out. And it says, rest in peace, Toriyama. Okay. You, and, I mean, you lost me at Kazbeck. Um, I haven't heard and this is before. actually a collaboration with Cohesion Brewing Company oh, out of Denver, Kazbeck's. Colorado. Oh, never mind. Mike, before today, have you ever heard about the Kazbeck's hops? No. No, I thought it was either a flower variety or possibly a town in Utah. Whoa. So, that matches the color on this label so well. It does. I... Can't wait to. Um, yeah, I poured a little bit much. Sorry, it's, it's I'm not used to these cup, cups. <laughs> I, well, I'm used to your excuses. So, um, oh man, that is just a, a rich amber. Well, let me hashtag proper glass. You hashtag proper glassware. Uh, that is very nice looking. It's kind of a uh, kind of hazy. It does match the can. It really does. I think they were going for that. It's it, got to be the Kazbeck, I is, would assume. It, it's like a dark golden. Oh, man. Almost like a... Should be a fly. Almost like there. a maple syrup. Yeah. I mean, it. It. there's stuff floating around in I there. I see that. This looks... Is it alive? Is it swimming? Yeah, probably that thing. What is it? It's like alive. It's like a little alien. It's probably one of the Kazbeks. You don't know what those hops can do. Oh. It's like a... Kazbeck is like a bacteria. No, no, you know. And it's supposed to just like grow the hops out of your body. You know what Kazbeck's are? Someone finally put a name to those weird Dr. Seuss characters from uh, <laughs> One Fish, Two Fish. <laughs> That's what they are. They're just pulling out. They're like, I don't know what we're going to call this hop. And pull open a Dr. Seuss book. Pull something out of there. You know, looking at those books now, and which, which I do because we've been reading them. Um, <laughs> the characters kind of creepy. The illustrations. Yeah, some of them. They're a little unnerving. Yeah. But it, isn't that one of those things where you, you, like, realize it when you were a kid, but you didn't realize it? You were just kind of like, I don't like this. But and now growing up, off. you're like, now you're yeah. having nightmares about Kazbeks. Yeah, Kazbeks uh, are all over the place. Anyways, uh, this beer comes courtesy of Hot Butcher <laughs> for the world. Thanks for sending us a beer. Um, we appreciate it. Let's get into it. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we did briefly just kind of <sighs> use the old Google AI and uh, said, hey, what are Kazbeks? And by AI, I mean we just use Google, just, and uh, uh, we didn't dive into like taste notes, but it's basically yeah, it's, yeah. It's super sauce, super sauce, it says. super yeah. sauce. I don't know why they just didn't call it super sauce because it's a. Oh, I'm down for any centennial. Give me all the oh, centennial. I know, I know. What else is in this? Centennial, Simcoe too. Oh, and Simcoe. Gosh. I like that hop line. Oh yeah, that's weedy. <sighs> A little tropical in there, crackery. There's a bitterness to it though. That smells like it's gonna be really good. <laughs> like it smells kind of juicy. It smells juicy, but there is like that oh. kind of, you know. Uh, yeah. A little castback action uh, in there, uh, I think uh, is what you're getting at. A little a little green funk. It's about the cast back. All right. Yeah, let's dive in. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. Look at that head retention. Oh, yeah, it's hot Hop put your heads. When you went for a sip, did you say, don't do it, don't do it, <laughs> don't sip me. Screaming for their lives. That is, uh, that is smooth. Oh, man. Oh. Okay. That's, uh, that's a little grassy. Dare I say pleasant pine. But still, I think it's more grassy. I think, yeah, no, it's not pine. Yeah, no, I, it, I'm just uh, preemptively mm. stating that tasting note so we actually get it right one of these days. Probably won't be on that this time, but whatever. I think there's a, there's a touch of like... Um, touch of 
touch of mango. Mm-hmm. I was going to say pineapple, but it's more like a mango. It comes off more mangoey. Yeah, th- this comes off more in the, the orange fruited you ever had, uh, variety. You ever had uh, mango pepper, like chutney? Uh, or, not or chutney. jam or whatever? Uh, yeah, I've had like a mango. Uh, th- th- that's what it looks like. Jams, but. Um, but there is this. Um, yeah, that's good. There's a. I'm getting like a, a little honey sweetness to it. For 7.5, the body is thin. Malcio is, uh, it's kind of sharp and obtrusive on the palate. I think so. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's got a smooth quality, but then there is this kind of sharp kind of. Okay, I'm getting like all smooth and and kind of creamy with just a little, little spritz of carbonation. Okay, to each his own. Okay. Man, that, that, that centennial is just. This is a very like laid back. It's laid back, but it it encompasses the entire palate. Yeah, that that's the thing. It's it's very relaxed and like laid I, back, but it's just coating your palate. I feel like I chewed on a, a flower. Yeah, it's, it is very floral. Floral, and then there is a slight berry thing c- kicking in at the end. This is really interesting. Do you get like a like a, a little a little berry action? Yeah, it, it's like a. It's kind of like a, a like mixed bla- berry juice. Like if you've got your like blackberries and uh, raspberry, and then like see, I was gonna I say know, maybe a blueberry in there. Or something I was gonna like say that. blackberry. Okay, like it, it. It's got a very deep, robust kind of thing, and it kind of kicks in with that. Yeah, this is good. It drinks. Let's say, let's say a cold IPA or whatever. Yeah, it, it, it's a West Coast IPA. That's. I, I think it does lean more West Coast, um, with that grassy. Grassy bitterness, you get your tropical fruits, but man, that's... A little zest of lime, too. <sighs> oh, okay. Like a, like a key lime, a little zest of okay. key lime. This is different. Yeah, I enjoy. this is tasty. I enjoy this, too. Let's, let's, let's see what they think it tastes like. Sweet orange. Okay. Yeah, we didn't say that. Ripe berry. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I said blackberry. Okay, we, got, we got that. Uh, juicy lemon. Let's... Oh, shit. Well, you, <laughs> you did say some zest, so. Dang, I was preemptively trying to get that. No, this is nice. I, it, it does match. I like so it. It, it, does, it matches so well. Mm. No, I enjoy it. Cold this horns. We've had. Yeah, the other horns in the ground one. I can't remember what it's called. Well, there's beef dipped. That's, That's what, what I was thinking of. I was thinking of beef dipped. I know. We could. Totally be wrong. All right. Um, <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. That's, I'll give it a... Uh, uh, I think I just drank one of the Kazbek people. I'll go to solid four. I think it's, this is very yeah, good. Yeah, I'll give it a four, too. I like it. Yeah, I'm okay with it. It's good. Delicious. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's good. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just like brushing it off. Yeah, you are. You just don't eat it. No, it's, it's good. Yeah. It's, it's decent beer. Um, I love the look of it, too. Down in the description below, uh, hit us up. Link trees, everything you need to know. Have you gotten down with the butch lately? If so, let us know. Inform us of what you're drinking. That's a label. Good grief. Uh, thanks, Hot Butcher. <laughs> Cheers.